While it's been around for over 50 years, hyperbaric oxygen therapy has only lately begun to gain recognition for treatment of a variety of injuries, illnesses, and diseases. Hyperbaric oxygen therapy is treatment of the entire body with 100% oxygen at greater than normal atmospheric pressures. Hyperbaric oxygen therapy is a way to increase the delivery of oxygen to tissues. And we do that by putting a patient in a chamber and increasing the pressure that they're breathing air at. And then rather than having them breathe air, breathe 100% oxygen. Wherever blood flow and oxygen delivery to vital tissues and bones is reduced, function and healing can be aided with hyperbaric oxygen therapy. When the body is injured by trauma, disease, surgery, or radiation, hyperbaric oxygen therapy makes all the cells in the body wake up and start the healing process. Hyperbaric oxygen therapy can be used to treat a variety of conditions. Probably the most commonly known is the bends, which is a diving accident but it can also be used to treat various difficult wounds, including diabetic wounds, wounds for people who have significant hardening of the arteries. It can be used for carbon monoxide poisoning, and it can also be used for serious infections like gas gangrene. In 1997, Lisa St. John was sick with a bone infection that took doctors seven years to diagnose. When they finally did, the prognosis was not good. It was hyperbaric oxygen therapy that she credits for her complete recovery. I was sick for seven years. Two of those years I was in bed with a lot of pain, and the five after I was trying to recover and never could. The doctors decided I had a bone infection. They gave me surgery and antibiotics and said you would do a lot better in healing and have a much better chance if you could find hyperbarics. I did hyperbaric treatments and I lived to tell a tale. I am so fortunate. After her recovery, Lisa decided she wanted to help others who were suffering and decided to open her own hyperbaric oxygen therapy center in Northern California. Today, Bay Area Hyperbarics is providing affordable hyperbaric oxygen therapy to patients in on the peninsula, in the South Bay and surrounding areas who need to heal from a variety of conditions. Bay Area Hyperbarics is unique because we can take all kinds of patients with many different problems. The kinds of diseases that we have been able to successfully treat have been radiation damage, non-healing wounds, post-stroke, autism, cerebral palsy, patients that have internal wounding, uh, patients that have peripheral vascular disease. I came to Bay Area Hyperbaric after I'd been treated for tongue cancer with radiation and chemotherapy. The side effects of the radiation were painful sores and ulcers in my uh, mouth and throat. Uh, hyperbaric oxygen was recommended and proved to be a, a way of accelerating the healing of those sores. And at the end of the day, I was able to get off a feeding tube and uh, eat and drink much more normally. I went to Bay Area Hyperbarics because I had had parts of three toes amputated. And as a type one diabetic, the doctors just weren't able to heal my wounds. And I was getting desperate. And finally, they thought that maybe hyperbaric oxygen treatment might help me. And I went, and within weeks, my toes were closed and my wounds were gone. The staff at Bay Area Hyperbarics is committed to providing the best possible care in a welcoming environment. They recognize that each patient has unique health care needs, and they offer professional and compassionate care to everyone. We have both plastic and metal hyperbaric chambers. We have some of the largest hyperbaric chambers in the Bay Area. A typical session runs an hour and a half to two hours, and they're very relaxing. A patient can lie down, sit up, watch a movie, listen to books on tape. In the hyperbaric chamber, they're breathing 100% oxygen under pressure. The military is studying the use of hyperbarics for the treatment of traumatic brain injuries and post-traumatic stress disorder. It may also be effective in treating sports-related concussions. There are several myths about hyperbaric oxygen therapy. One of the main indications is to treat injuries as a result of radiation therapy for the treatment of cancer. There are physicians that are leery to send patients to us because they're afraid that 
hyperbaric oxygen is gonna stimulate the growth of cancer cells, and that just isn't true. It won't heal cancer or it won't make it worse. Hyperbarics most commonly treats non-healing wounds in your bones, your tissues, your muscles, your skin. They're caused from things such as accidents, radiation damage from cancer treatments, diabetes when it affects your feet or your fingers, um, any kind of problem that actually your body can't heal by itself. Hyperbaric oxygen therapy is an effective and painless treatment that gets results. For many patients, it is the primary treatment prescribed by their physician. For others, it is an adjunct to surgery and other medicine. To learn more, call Bay Area Hyperbarics today or visit OxygenHeals.com or BayAreaHyperbarics.com.